What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this isn't too shaky because I'm driving. It probably is, and I don't know why I'm doing this right now. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a different outfit. Probably already done this intro, intro like two or three times because I was filming this video and things just got messed up and I said, you know what, screw it. I'm filming this on another day. Today's the another day. Welcome back. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about things that I love about, you know, not only my Jeep itself, the, you know, the car, but the community the Jeep community overall. I feel like I've uploaded like two or three other videos so far, and it's really always been like, oh, either problems I've run into with the Jeep, my car specifically, or things that I just don't like about my Rubicon, um, you know, things that I would change and stuff like that. Those issues, less than 1% of the millions and like literally millions of things I love about not only my car, but the Jeep community as well. I've been a part of other car communities from owning different brands but i have to say the jeep one has honestly been the best i've made like so many friends from owning this car the whole experience around this is it's just been great really wouldn't change it for anything all the problems and everything i would do it all over again and the problems are really at the end of the day it's not much to start off number one i would say what i love about at least my specific uh, Rubicon, you know, the, the JL Rubicons, the capabilities that these cars have. When I, I first got this, it was bone stock, of course. I went with a bunch of my friends that own Summer H1s, and we were going up this, I have never taken, I never took it off-roading. Um, this was going to be my first time going off-roading and obviously going off-roading with my car. There were two other guys with Jeeps, or one other guy with a Jeep, who decided to leave his car behind because he wasn't too sure that he would make it. And all my Hummer friends were like, you know what, if you want, leave your car behind, come with us, and you know, and enjoy just being in the Hummer. And I was like, ah, you know what, I just bought this car, I want to see what it could do. I didn't buy it so it could sit in my driveway or for it to be a mole crawler. If it gets scratches here and there, you know what, there are stories to tell, as long as I'm not destroying my engine bending my rims and screwing up my suspension beyond repair. Let's have some fun. That's why I got this car. It wasn't snowing, but there was a ton of snow going into the woods. Two of the Hummers, they decide to go up. Both of them can't make it. So I'm like, shoot, these guys can't make it. Like, I'm definitely not making it. It's my turn to go because one of the other Hummers went around to try and go up to see if he would just be able to make it up this other path. He ends up making it up. And then it's my turn to go up just kind of the main path where the other Hummers were, were going up. This car crushed it. They were all like, dude, what did you do? You lifted it you change the suspension you you know those aren't the that's not stock i'm like guys this is straight up jeep wait this is straight up from the factory like i did not do anything the only thing i think i had done i had my winch a bull bar some auxiliary lights but no nothing that would improve my off-road performance besides you know the winch being able to pull me out of some place but i didn't use my winch to get up the hill so they were not, I mean, not only was I blown away, but they were all completely shocked. Just put a huge smile on my face and reassured my purchase of this vehicle. So I was super thrilled about that. Second thing would be, I mean, I love the look of this car, but how customizable they are. There's so many like big and little things that you could do to really make it your own because I think on average, I see at least if I'm driving for like an hour, on at minimum 20 plus jeeps easily wranglers whether it's a jk jl older one cjs whatever they're all over the road but what's really nice about them is each one is so unique so it's cool all the different customizations you could do to them third would be just the community it's going to be quick because it's the community itself the facebook groups instagram youtube everyone is just like super helpful and super friendly and there's just like so many and it's cool when everyone kind of comes together and you know again everyone having their own jeep and it being unique makes it nice because you could all you know there could be 10 of you and you know all in the same exact let's say wrangler rubicon but they're all different in their own own way. So that kind of concludes like my top three favorite things so far with my Jeep. There's so many others, but I didn't want to make this video too long and 
not interesting and boring. So I figured let me just kind of keep it to top three things that really come to my mind first. Stay tuned because in the future, there's going to be so many more great things I just love about this car community everything about Jeep itself. So if you're either a Jeep owner, you would totally understand. Or if you're looking at buying a Jeep, maybe this will kind of persuade you to, you know, or motivate you to really like, yep, let's, let's hit that buy button, sign those papers. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon notification thing so you can get notified when I upload a new video. All right, guys, until uh, next time, peace.